Fung is written by uh, my personal hero, uh, Chris Christopherson. Um, and um, this is one of his early songs, and I had the great, I got to, um, first of all, he was a hero, and I was directing this little DV movie, right when digital cameras came out, there was this pull to kind of see what could be done with them. And uh, Bravo Channel was giving away money. They had this little thing where they'd give you $100,000 to make a movie. And it's not that How much. did I miss that? <laughs> 300 grand. Well, you had to actually make a movie. You oh. couldn't like, do other shit. Yeah, yeah. And, um, but anyway, one of the leads was supposed to be the kind of older, uh, amazing writer character, a Faulkner-esque character. I was like, who the hell am I going to get to play this part? And then I thought of Chris Christopherson, and, you know, because the, the guy was supposed to be the resident genius of the Chelsea Hotel, and I thought, well, if you could actually get on camera the guy who wrote Freedom's Just Another Word for Nothing Left to Lose, it would be a good coup d'etat, but I had no money. And so I had to I send Chris this whole thing. It was really interesting. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah well, I'll, I'll do that movie, but... Uh, these three lines are stupid. <laughs> I won't say those. Yeah, I don't need any money. Just cut those lines. I'm like, no problem. We'll cut those lines. And my first scene with him, I hope this isn't boring, but I'm not for it. My first scene with him, I, I was working hard, right? And I picked this whole apartment for him because he had a long monologue. And so I picked this, this uh, bottle of whiskey that's supposed to arrive at the door. He's talking on the phone. And he talks, and in this apartment that I picked, you could go from the bedroom. I mean, from the living room, where you answer the door, to the bedroom, and the bedroom went into the kitchen, and the kitchen went back into the living room. And I said, but, hey, you know, I said to him, have you ever seen Masculine Feminine, some of those Godard films? He's like, uh, <laughs> Well, anyway, okay, so it's like gonna be really cool, and I'm gonna do it all in one take. And like, when you walk in the bathroom, I had this whole thing, you're gonna turn on the lights, it'll be dark. So for a while, we'll be the monologue in the dark, and you'll turn on the lights, but while it was dark, you're gonna put a hat on, and you can adjust the hat in the mirror and kind of check yourself out while you're talking. And then you walk into the bathroom, and the bathroom, you look at yourself in the mirror, and you turn off the light while you're talking, because you're disgusted. You, know, you see yourself, you got this bottle in your hand, and then you walk into the kitchen, and then you're going to crack it open, and you sit back down right where you're starting, pour yourself a drink. And Chris is looking at me. Are you an alcoholic? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, no, I don't think so. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> oh, all right. And Bud, that was his character, right? Bud's an alcoholic, right? So Bud's falling off the wagon, and he gets a bottle of whiskey, delivers the door, and then he walks to the bathroom and tries on a hat, and turns on some lights. Then he goes to the kitchen, and then he cracks the bottle, and he pours a glass. Let me tell you what I do. I get the fucking bottle. I open the cap. I throw the cap away. And I would sit down and drink that fucking bottle. And if you don't like that idea, the other truth is there's no way I'm going to remember all these fucking lines walking in and around, turning on lights and turning on hats and shit. So I think we're going to do it my way. <laughs> Let's, let's sit down. <laughs> but one of the great, great uh, men of the arts, Chris Christopherson. Okay.